Oh, poor Scott. He was trying to like actually grab the person. <laughs> Here we go. Everybody choose a celebrity. The Ryan Queen. Reynolds. Oh, okay. Same as yesterday. <laughs> the Queen. Okay. Queen and Ryan Reynolds. Based on how weird a video game starring the selected celebrity would Come be. Come on, Sam. They would have a Deadpool yeah. game. Yeah, I know. The Queen in a game would be awesome. You get it. And weird. I'm sure there probably are games with the Queen in. <clears throat> probably, yeah. We should probably play some on the channel. Yeah, play some Queen games. <laughs> queen games. Oh. oh. The last night, where am I going to go? No, even if the shopkeep was where there, you we, wouldn't be able to go. Where haven't we been? Uh, we've been... No, the library. No, I went to the library last time. Did you? Yes. Oh, yeah, because you did the start kicker. You've been even to the auditorium. I we've, think been I wanna, we've been everywhere. I think I'm going to go outdoors. I My character hasn't been outdoors. You're going to partay. Partay. Mm, 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 that day mm, during mm, recess, mm, you start mm. a half hour rave that goes full crazy. Everything's fine until Juan, the small, magical <laughs> Latino cat, asks what you, think you're, Dancing. what you think you're doing. Damn. You didn't remember. Oh, you suck at dancing. Oh, no. It's me in real life. You just decided to go in <laughs> and pretend it's a new dance move, apparently called the Groovy Moussaka. Mm -hmm. Juan looks at you and... He asks you to teach him the groovy moussaka. <laughs> Heck yeah, I do. In no time, half the party is man. following your steps, enjoying the groovy moussaka all together. A it's a party to remember. Woo! You gain two fun and a cool story to tell your grandkids. Nice. Someday. That's immortalized on YouTube as well. <gasps> Scott catches up with you afterwards, <gasps> point, uh, panting with excitement. Yes. Hey, bro. I was just thinking about how much I like you and I want to share all my favorite things with you. I, I thought about sharing my bones with you, but I don't remember where I buried any of them. Uh, and then I thought maybe we could go pe 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 peeing together, <laughs> but but not but peeing on each other's territory would be wrong. And and I don't know how to share the moon or even or even where it is right now. But so so I guess I guess I lose my two favorite things: inside uh, cheerleading and sports. And, and, and since you're not supposed to be cheerleading, is it? Let's let's cheer again, bro. <laughs> it's fucking voice. Okay. Uh. What, what's that? You you, you want to know how to how how uh, you want to know what we're cheering for? Uh, uh uh uh. I thought I'd leave that up to you. What what should we cheer for, bruh? Uh, we should cheer for the working class. Nothing to aid the rise of the proletariat. For, like a hearty cheer. Uh, we should cheer for each other because friendship is the greatest sport of all. Yes, Samuel. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. 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 We'll cheer for each other. Uh, we'll cheer. <laughs> it's because there's a lot of cheering going on in that sense of my red head. We'll cheer for each other's cheering, and our cheering will make each other's cheering more, more, more cheerful. Scott picks you up Yay! and tosses you in the air. Oh. But before you hit him, hit the ground, oh. he's in your arms, <gasps> ready for you to toss him. I mean, that's kind of T toss me high, bro. For friendship, anything's possible. That's Tyler. Toss here. Scott into the air. <laughs> But somehow, the force of your encouragement allows him to toss you again. Oh my gosh. You can you fly. fly. You fly into space. And you crash into the sun. I the sun is it. no match for you. Uh, for your love for each other. Oh, I, I can't tell <clears throat> whether this fire in my heart is getting burned up by the sun or my love for you. It's probably both. You stay shut around the sun. <laughs> it's so confused. Like, do I love you? I just don't know. Traveling faster than the speed of light. <gasps> Like you Superman. crashed into Earth seven days ago, oh right God. before the opposite team scored a touchdown in last week's sport game. Nice. You obliterate the enemy quarterback. Ah, yeah, cheerleading! <laughs> cheerleading indeed. And now you have the entire extra week to hang out with Scott, which <gasps> won't be reflected in the game, you oh. time-traveling cheater. Oh. You gain two boldness and one fun. That'd be so funny, like, yeah. my game ends and then you're just I'm still just, like, going continue dating right. Scott. Oh, my God. Right, where am I going to go? Well, Sam, where do you want to go? You can't go outdoors because I took that. You are bold there, and fun. There's where you get money. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm, I'm figuring these out. That was that creativity. Was creativity and something else. Well, just the main thing. Oh, okay, you have, right, yeah. you have yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, the thing so. you get. So this is creativity. That's smarts. Mm -hmm. That's money. Mm -hmm. Outdoors is fun. Mm -hmm. Gym is boldness. Yep. Oh, hit the mic stand. <laughs> <laughs> bathrooms is whatever the fuck. I think boldness. <laughs> oh, I, I think it's like, but I think it's like that one gets gets like a mixture of everything. Could be. But you're gonna go, bruh. Uh, should I try the bathrooms again? Where haven't you been? You've been I've to the auditorium. Been to the you haven't been to I've class been at all. I haven't been to the class. <laughs> My smarts are five. Why would I? You haven't been to class at all. <laughs> I guess I could bump that up because then I'd have nothing lower than six. How cool would that be? So, as I say, oh no! Look, a little guy on the side. Like, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. That day, you're the first one in class. Oh. You sometimes come early because you enjoy talking to the teacher. No. He's a bit bitter, but in a cool way. He treats you like an adult, and the two of you discuss life and stuff in a very snarky way. Nerd. Look at you, excelling at cliched movie tropes. <laughs> you gain two smarts oh, nice. and one valuable life insight that will help you face the difficulties <laughs> of being young. But that's not honest, that's at all. 
Maybe it will come out later. <gasps> you turn around to find Vera staring at you. Samuel, Vera. This often happens, but for some reason it's not a death You've been striking out every single time recently, so be careful. Uh, excuse me. She came to you and was like, I want to bone down with oh, these yeah. charts. I, yeah, I gave you a win. But the last two times she, you've had contact with her, she didn't. You no, it's only one, sucked. wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it's two. Uh, just go, just go. Okay. I'm pretty sure she actually looks kind of happy to see you. Weird. Oh. You decide... So uh, cute you. You decide to do what you do best. Push, Push your luck. Finally. Uh, if you'd taken any longer to come over, I would have had my uh, minions drag oh, you here. Oh, no. Listen, my day for tonight was unexpectedly <gasps> in by vultures. Totally oh, not my fault. Samuel. Anyway, I need to fill some s the slot somehow. Oh. I thought maybe you could. Oh, Samuel. <laughs> recommend one of your more attractive friends. Oh, Samuel. No. <laughs> Just oh. kidding, darling. You're not half bad. But seriously, meet me at the Thousand Arms at 9.15pm, or the vultures will eat twice today. Did Vera just ask you on a date? She did. You got this is Christmas in whatever damn month it is right now. <laughs> but if you don't want this to be on just one time thing, you best come up with an incredible dinner gift to win her over. Oh, Samuel. A magic mirror that will always tell her how uh -uh. she looks. The head of her greatest enemy. I think she might- Well, this is to do with her- this is to do with Gorgons, isn't it? Mirrors, no. Heads, yes. Yeah, that's true. Well, no, the, her head was the know, thing with yeah, Medusa, but... but... Yes, there's that we can think of, the The, the, the actual myth. mythology, mythology behind her. But don't you think she'll get angry that she, I've taken the head of her head? Look, it's up to you. You decide. I don't think either are a good and choice. And also remember about your, your, I don't think, your fun and bold. I don't think either are a good choice, and I think this one has less chance of turning her to stone. So... <laughs> Can you imagine going to prom and you've got like a statue with you? Oh, this is Vera, but uh, I just need to give her a like mirror on the deep. The corpse round. No. <laughs> so gets, bold. Uh, you get your trusty decapitating axe out of storage and lop the head off of Zag uh, Zalgar Babcock, oh. shapeshifting reptile human rights attorney. Mm -hmm. Luckily, reptoids don't bleed much. You're able to deliver the head in a delicate satin pouch oh, on a silver tray. How nice. At dinner that night, Vera excitedly unties the drawstrings and opens the bag. Oh, you shouldn't have. She likes it. Because murder is a crime. <laughs> but I'm glad you did it anyway. I love it. You shouldn't have, because murder is super bad. Zalgar has been such a pain ever since he discovered that I don't pay my child oh labels. Or some nonsense like that. Samuel, who are you dating? How's a girl supposed to make a living when she's expecting to pay every child that works for her? <clears throat> um, Vera uh... later informs you that her actual greatest enemy is time itself, but you can't decapitate time. <laughs> and anyway, it's the thought that counts. You gain two charm and one boldness. Look at that. Look at that. You're almost as bold as you are fun. Fucking yes. Look at that. But it's prom tomorrow. The monster prom draws near. It's prom time, baby. Who are you asking? Uh, I'm going to ask out Polly. No, I'm going to ask out Scott. I was going to say, we saw Damien the least. Shall yeah. We, shall we ask him? No, we're going to ask out Scott, Samuel. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Scott, you my boy. Dumb old, <laughs> dumb old jock boy. Yeah, he's no, but he's really sweet. Yes? Yes, and we make a cute couple. Okay, and then I'm going for Vera. <laughs> I'm going to go for myself. Oh, you have a little boy down there. I have them everywhere. I think they crawl all over me. Like, I think they sprout out of wherever. Yeah. Because there were he? two on my shoulders earlier. What is he, though? I'm a shadow man. Shadow boy. Who are you going to go, Sam? Vera? Vera. Hi. Alright. Hi. Oh, look at us. We actually look you quite cool. You are def- She is definitely dating down. You are definitely dating up. Uh, are you kidding? Look at me. Uh, I'm fucking stunning. Look, that guy on the shoulder, he's like, hey, it's going to go belly. <laughs> no, I am <laughs> the suave, cool, sophisticated mm. guy. Look, I'm doing the cool thing that, like, the, the tucking up your, uh, your sleeves. <laughs> I mean, I guess. That, that get you're girls doing, off. Like, you know, like, makes them all like, ooh, you're doing the man's like, the folding his uh, sleeves up. Okay. He's so dreamy. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. Okay, see let's go to prom, I'm, Sam. I'm cool. Are you excited to go to prom? Uh, right. We'll see based on the outcome of this. <gasps> you finally pluck up your courage and ask <gasps> your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. I oh, know. You're asking me to go to the prom with you? Oh, God. Have you seen Samuel. yourself in a mirror? Oh, no. Your face is a crime against humanity. Oh, no, Samuel. And not one of the crimes against humanity I enjoy perpetrating. Oh, no. Bye, loser. Samuel. Damn, you're bad at inter inter uh, interacting with people. Both times at prom, you've struck out, Samuel. To repent for the sin of making such bad choices, you were oh, forced no. to walk around the school in the in the nude, <laughs> shame. accompanied by a nun who chanted shame, shame. over and over while ringing a big bell. Is that something a Game of Thrones reference? Classic. Shame. <laughs> What the fuck? Let's go! It all went right apart from the one fuck up. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to the monster prom to go to monster prom with you. Uh, uh, prom? Hmm. I don't know if this is, this tingling, tingling is love or five any drinks I just drank, but this feels like the right thing to do. Fuck. Yes! Let's go to prom together! It was definitely the five energy drinks. Yay! No, it's not. But who cares? Loves me, Sam. Oh my god, Samuel! Fuck. We're matching! Oh my goodness! Prom night was ah! red. You danced all night, and most of Scott's dance moves were basically workouts. So you ended up utterly <laughs> exhausted. I love it! Yes! It wasn't your idea of getting all sweaty with Scott, but you're definitely <laughs> yes! getting closer. Oi! 
cannot believe this. Yes. Blue is most likely to marry a zebra. I mean, sure. Scott's quote, life is like sports. Oh. Both are things and they have stuff in common. <laughs> I got a, and I've got an achievement called Broke, which I'm assuming is ending the game on minus, minus money. Minus money, yeah. So we have 53 out of 388 events and 54 out of 1,384 uh, outcomes. I have no endings yet. Oh, how do, I'm assuming that's like if you date, if you manage to date the like the yeah, but space I, bridge how guy. Did I stretch, how did I? How did I? How, how did that happen? How, 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 how did I strike how, out? Sam, it's because it's because so you succeeded. So give me some give me some relationship advice. Um, how could go I? for the dumb guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> that you can't strike out. So. Um, that was Monster Prom. We're gonna go for the credits because the credits are pretty cool. I kind of the credits. Um, but I plan to do this with more people, so expect Annie and Devon to join me at some point as well. And Samuel, read the outro. Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After Monster Prom, we kept on living our lives, mm. falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning who we were and who we could be. And you know what? As it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Let's find out what happens. Damien became a renowned drag racer oh! until he died in the most oh. badass way during a race. Oh my god. At the funeral you spotted him <gasps> hidden yes. among the crowd. Amazing. He winked at you. What what film does that? Uh, tons. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Vera realised she was a character in a video game which infuriated her. She oh spent no, her life so making good. connections and building power because she's not part of the game. She plays, plays the, the game. game. So be careful. Maybe now mm. she's the one pulling your strings. Not yours, she doesn't like you. No. Scott became a world-renowned athlete, but he also ended his career to come back to his hometown and take on the job of the athlete he admired the most. Now he's here again at high school, working as the coach! That's actually really nice, that's cute. During those three weeks, Monster Prom seemed bigger than life. And then it was gone, oh. just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended. Uh, might have ended then. But there were lots of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, you were young. Oh, we were young and afraid. And we were ready to start. I love this outro song. It's pretty cool. Pretty rad. So, that was Monster Prom Samuel. <laughs> how are you feeling? Your face says not great. Fuck. Look, that's, how, that's like one of our dates. Oh, that's so cute. Um... So, are you upset that you didn't you didn't get to date Vera? I can't believe it. I did everything right, apart from one thing. I'm almost <laughs> certain it was only one thing. Oh, I feel bad. I even helped you as well. Yeah. I could have fucked you over, but like, I actually helped you. The thing is, she was my best chance. That she was the person I'd spent most time with. Hmm. Oh, I got a date. Yeah. Again. Congrats. Look at me on the face. Look at me, a lead guitar, lead singer. Lead guitar. I, I can see what's happening in the picture. And you're about to kill Princess Bubblegum. I think I'm allowed to. I'm about to separate. Like as soon as I hit the order. So like these are the voice actors. Like some of them like like um, some of them are YouTubers and streamers and the like, which is pretty cool. Um, and this was originally a Kickstarted game, I believe, uh, with demo, and then uh, it just kind of. I don't know. It's a really good game. It's a really fun game, and it's very like a party game. Yeah, it's great. Samuel, Sam, Sam likes the game. By the way, guys. Yeah, I do. He's I do. bitter. I He's bitter because he didn't get a date. But, um, Believe it. How do I strike out so much? Because you suck. Because you're already in a relationship. Maybe that's why. Yeah, I suppose that's good. You haven't had to think about that. Yeah. Whereas I'm like, must love everybody. Make make me like, love me. <laughs> Please. Look, there's you. Damn you should have gone with Polly. Should have gone with Valley Girl. Look, there's me. My, my fairy, fairy cute patootie. patootie. Oh my god, that's totally. So I can't label it too. <laughs> I totally label it something like that as well. So let's just. Do a quick thoughts on what's from Samuel. What do you think about it? Give me ups, downs. Do you enjoy it? Do you not? Is there something you didn't like? Um, I like it because I like the org, I like the aspect of those kind of games, the ones where you kind of it, it's short but also long because I think this is they, they take about so an hour. Many, yeah. But there's also tons of replay value, mm. tons of different endings to get. Everything's different almost every time. Yeah. You will occasionally run into the same things. I, I think I ran into two things that were the same. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's new and interesting and. Yeah, you know, there's, there's different people you can play as and then different people you can date, so the options there to get mm. endings is wild. Negatives. Mm. Do you have Why any? can't I get laid? <laughs> ah, that's his... That's gonna, that's gonna be like so many Steam review comments, like, I hate this game, I can't get laid. Zero out of ten. I just... I, I did everything. I drank the poison bottle from the wolf jocks <laughs> and became really fun, <laughs> but no, apparently not. You became a spider. I bet she needed... I bet... You need smarts and money high if you want her. Yeah, I could have probably no. I didn't have the money. Never mind. Boldness and fun, I bet, would be better for um, this one. 
I Polly. Name. Yeah, Polly. Polly. Polly Geist. Yeah. I really enjoy Monster Prom. I played it three times. I played it once by myself, so actually, it's actually really fun playing it by yourself. Um, says the loser who has no friends. Um, it is actually really fun, and it's slightly different to multiplayer. So I may actually do a single playthrough run to show you what it's like single player. Um, so you can play it by yourself. You don't have to have friends, but it's always fun. Especially if you just, even if you just get your brother or your mum or your dad, you should play, play this with me. I mean, maybe not mum and dad because it's a bit like raunchy in places, but you know, and up to you. There's a bit swearing in it. There's a little bit swearing. Um, it's a good game uh, all round, I would say. It's a pretty, it's a pretty solid dating game, right? Um, and yeah, from all all the many I've played, yes. Well, for me, I've played tons. Um, and usually dating games like one of two options, and they don't really have that much of an impact. Um, whereas this, I feel like you kind of do have. I don't know. I, I, even if it doesn't, even if you don't have more options, it feels like you do. I feel like you in this game, you do everything right, and then you still get screwed over. Sounds bitter. At the end, anyway. Sam, so, Sam, how about I invite you back after our playthroughs of Monster Prom to come back and try and win Vera over again? Oh fuck, Vera, dumb bitch. Samuel. I'm going after that one, the Little Red Riding Hood woman. Who is that? Little Red Riding Hood woman. This yeah. one. Yeah. She is the Slayer, oh. and she's voiced by Dodger, otherwise I... known as uh, Brooke. Yeah, Brooke I'm gonna, Thorn. I'm gonna go for her. Um, Even though she, oh, can't. I'll go for her. <laughs> okay, sure. I no, think she appears like I, once in the game. Okay. okay. Next time, I'll try to go because I tried da- try to go for Damien the first time. Yeah, which he I, also striked out on. I fucked up like the last two <laughs> things. Yeah. So I think I'd probably go for Polly next time. I think there's like what? How many how many options do you have to Six. see people? This oh, there's like morning, morning lunch, lunch, evening, and there's weekend. total like three. So yeah, so nine, and then there's the two weekends. So. I think if you, I think what you have to do is get like four, like five or more to like get on a date with people. I think if you mess up like two or three, well, no, you're like. I had like, the date. No, no, no. What I mean is like, um, not the date, the prom bit. I can't believe it. I gave her <laughs> ahead of her enemy. I know, and she's like, no, nope, fuck you. <laughs> I know, I feel so the bad. The effort I put into relationships and what I get out, just it's there's not. It's so not bad. even. It is not in equilibrium, Jess. I love Scott Sam. He's so cute. It is not yin and or yang. Do you know what? I really like the characters, a lot of them. And do you know what's great? There's a lot of yin. Samuel, would you stop being bitter? <laughs> and no yang in this relationship. <laughs> the title of the video is Sam Bitter. Sam is so bitter. <laughs> no, it will be. There's bitter. a lot of yin. No, there's not. Not a lot of yang. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would recommend it. It's only £8 right now. It's on sale for 10% off. It's original price. It's eight ninety five, I think, right now. So go grab it while you can. I would highly, 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 highly recommend it. The online, there's a bug apparently right now, but they're working really fast to like patch it and stuff. But they kept their release date, which I think is pretty good. Yeah. Um. Uh. So expect updates and stuff if you are going to buy it now. But it's a solid game to play in a living room. It's a solid game to play at, like a party, like a sleepover or whatever. And it's got enough humour that I think boys and girls will like it. Like, I don't think it's like a strictly girl dating sim, you know? Like, yeah. it's not all cutesy, like, I... uh, he looked at me dead in the eyes across the room. I you know? it pretty fun. So, um, yes, I would would recommend. Bo- Boyk approved. Yeah. <laughs> From Sam. 10 out of 10 zombie heads. 10 out of 10 zombie heads. Um, I, like I said, I'd recommend it. I like it. Um, uh, it's, so it's on Steam right now. I think that's all it is on at the moment. I'm not sure if it's coming to other places. I, I, I'm not entirely sure. I'll put a subtitle if I'm wrong. Um... And yeah, so many options. By the way, for you guys at home that are excited, I plan to do more playthroughs of this with other people, like I said earlier briefly. I plan to do it with Annie and Devon, so I can show you how three-player works. I want to play it by myself, so I can show you how single-player works, because, you know, some of us don't have friends, you know? Some of us don't. I'm one of them. My friends I only see very rarely. <laughs> and Sam, I had to force him to be here. Um, actually, Sam had nothing else to do, really. Uh, I got plus five money out of the deal. <laughs> Ooh, that in-game money. Um, and I don't know how we're going to do four-player. Let's fix something out, but see if that yeah. do that. Um, and who knows? I might do an online stream one. You know, do do a live stream of it. That could be really fun. So, if you guys have enjoyed Monster Prom and have enjoyed mine and Sam's wonderful dating lives in high school, um, and you know, it was great. I, I, if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and share because I haven't been. I keep striking out. So maybe that's the key to winning a girl's heart. Liking blue, fl- uh, sh- like share blue fluffy ducks <laughs> stuff and like and comment and subscribe nice. and uh-huh. favorite and uh-huh. can you favorite stuff these days? Yeah, you skip. Okay. Uh, and share it because you will then end up uh, with a date to prom. <laughs> Sam, Sam goes off crying. <laughs> um, That's what I'm going to do as soon as we finish recording this. I'm going to go share every video she's ever done. <laughs> oh my gosh! And then when I come back next time, I will get love. <laughs> oh, poor Sam. Ra has going to see this. Bit. It's okay, I love you. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, um, no, she'll she'll be on the other group. She'll be like, ha, loser. Um, so yeah. So uh, also, that's what I was about to say. If you are about to subscribe or have already subscribed, make sure you ding the bell next to the subscribe button because you might not get notified when new videos come up, like Monster Prom, like more Monster Prom in the future. Um, so ding the bell, basically, because uh, uh, YouTube. Um, so yeah, me and Sam, we'll probably see you for more something next time. Yeah. Sam might come back, actually. Maybe conquer the hearts of everybody. Maybe Sam will conquer the heart of the coach. Everyone. Maybe you'll date the coach, Sam. Everyone. A bang tiger boy. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe Slugman. We still haven't seen him yet. Slugman. He's actually voiced by Jesse Cox, I believe. The sl slime guy. Um, he did come across the screen briefly. Yeah, no, he's, he is a, a rare one. But it's a gear. It's like the computer that occasionally comes acro across as well. Mm. Anyway, we should still probably look for that. Um, but yeah, we, we will see you next time for some more Mods Prom. Fun times. See you at prom, guys. Bye. Bye. Are you sad? I don't know. <laughs> I'm used to disappointment in my life. Oh, you know? poor Sam. <laughs>